Today we're going to be playing with Image Magic, uh, which we've played with a lot in the past. It is a package of tools for editing and manipulating images from the command line. Think of it as a GIMP or a Photoshop for the command line. Um, we've used it a lot for converting from one format to another, resizing stuff, flipping images, distorting images, uh, adjusting colors, and stuff like that. Well, I recently found out that it can actually encrypt images. Now, I believe the output has to be a PNG, but the input could be any image file that uh, ImageMagic accepts, uh, GIFs, JPEGs, um, bitmaps, uh, TIFFs. Um, and let me show you the image we're going to be working with today. This is uh, concept art created by a viewer for the game I'm working on called uh, Pop, Pissed Off Penguins. Uh, and so that's just the image that I have sitting here, and I thought we'd share it to, uh, to just play with it some. That's who made it. Okay. And um, what we're going to do is, now, you could grab the password from a text file, which is how the directions on the main Image Magic page shows. Uh, which is kind of weird, putting your password into a text file and then grabbing it because then your password's sitting there in the text file. And I know that didn't make sense to me, uh, but I found another website that showed that you can just use uh, the standard output from one program as the input for this. So what we're going to do is we're going to say echo and then put whatever we want our password to be. I'm just going to say password, which obviously you're probably going to want to use something a little bit better than that. Um, but password will be our password when we go to decipher it. Um, and then we're going to use convert part of the image magic package. We want our input image here, which would be in this case pop02a.png, but whatever the name of the uh, image file you have on your computer there. And then we're going to say dash in cipher and then space and another dash. And that dash right there is saying use the standard output, what this is outputting, which is the word password, and use that as our cipher, as our password. And then we're going to say uh, hidden.png will be the name of our output file. Um, and I'll hit enter. Didn't take very long. Now we still have our original image here. So I can display that. But if I had to try to display our new image, which is the same image just encrypted, hidden PNG, we just get a bunch of random little dots with a transparent background. But our image is still in there, we just need the password to see it. So we can say now echo and whatever our password is. So that's something the user would need to know to decrypt it or decipher it. And we're going to say, once again, we're going to pipe that into convert. We're going to say our new input file, which is our hidden.png. And this time, instead of in cipher, we're going to say decipher. Once again, we're going to do space dash for our standard input, so it's grabbing the word password, and I'm going to say, I'll just say new.png. Didn't take very long at all, and now I can display our new.png, which looks just like our original image there. So that's how you encrypt or encipher and decipher uh, images. Uh, we do still have all the files we were working with, so even though you encrypt it, if you don't get rid of the original, it's still there. So you can either back that up somewhere, or uh, what you can do is I'm going to remove our new image and our hidden image, so we're only left with our original image. I haven't tried this, but normally convert, if you put the output file as same as the input file, it will overwrite it. So let's just say echo password, then we're going to say convert, and we'll convert that image. And we're going to say dash in cipher, dash for the standard input, and then we'll just give it the same file name as the output. And I believe that will just override the original and give you the static image. And then we can do the same. We can say echo and our password, pipe it into convert, and then we'll say that file dash d cipher oops dash for the standard input and that same file name again and if we display out that file now you can see it's back to normal now as you can see that's the only file in this directory now you have to re think about when you're doing this number one do you want to keep the original? 
because you are doing some conversion and you're probably going to lose a little bit of quality each time you do this. So make sure that if you do it that way that you don't want to keep the original. I mean, it's going to be a little, little bit of quality loss each time, but if you're constantly deciphering it and enciphering it and back and forth, back and forth, you're going to slowly degrade the image. Um, but this is a great way to make a second file and you can email it to somebody and if they have uh, you know, Image Magic installed, or I'm sure there's other programs you could probably open it up with that would ask for a password, but they would need the password to open it. So that's a great way to, to hide images. It's not just hidden, it's encrypted. Um, also, obviously, we're echoing out our password here, so it will be in your bash or whatever command line you, uh, um, interpreter you use, uh, shell you use. It's going to be saved in the history. So there's other ways around that. You can use the read command to grab the input, and then it wouldn't show it. Uh, there's actually, I believe, command line applications for grabbing passwords and keeping them hitting, hidden. Um, or you can clear out your history. Uh, a lot of techniques, but just keep that in mind that if you type this in plain text in the terminal, it's going to be in your bash history. Uh, so that's just something to keep in mind. But I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Please visit the links in the description and visit filmsbychris.com. That's Chris with a K. And I hope that you have a great day.